Hi guys, welcome to Seven Money Show. Me, your host Sean. Well, we keep having people telling us because of tapering, uh, we should be looking at value stocks and dividend stocks. So I'm going to tell you, show you a few today. Now we keep getting told beware of high dividend stocks, but it, you find some that are good value and pay a high dividend. And they're usually in the shipping industry. Why? Because they're boring stocks. Now, I gave a few plays last year when everyone was on NAT. Uh, looking at the 3% dividend, we ended up with DHT. We ended up with a 50% dividend. And a bit of a run-up. Not much, but a bit of a run-up. Anyway. Here we go. We have ZIM. It's a seventeen and a half percent dividend, which is at ten dollar, and it's at fifty three dollars. Now, its market cap is around the enterprise value. It's run up a little bit. It was below. It's P of two. Price to sales of zero point seven six. Price to book of two. Now, uh, you will see uh, the cost of revenue is half of the revenue it's bringing in, and you can see that the assets to liability was closely matched until this quarter, where they were almost doubled, which I like to see. And you see with the cash flow it has plenty of cash flow free cash flow due to recent events don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button a lot sexier than me just ask the wife and if you want to be a hero hit the bell notification you'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded and why not check out the links in the description below if you're looking for a free trading platform you get a free share with up to 200 pounds dollars depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount now how about one with a 26 percent dividend now this pays on december the 9th sorry it goes ex dividend on december the 9th and it's a 2 billion market cap versus a 3.3 billion enterprise value it's p of nine so a higher pe it's still a good pe a uh, forward P of 3.8, which shows that it's due to growth. Price to sales of 2, price to book of 1.1. Now, it's a good price to book to have. Now we have Eagle bulk, bulk Shipping. Now we've just missed the dividend on this. I spoke about this before that it went ex-dividend. Ex I'm bringing it up purely because I'm thinking for the next one along it's a 21 percent dividend it was november the 12th a 5 p ratio and it's a forward p of three price to book of 0 0.87 which shows it's undervalued and price to sales 1.13 market cap is 526 million versus 902 million enterprise value Another one which has just gone ex dividend, DAC, is a 1.5 billion market cap versus 2.3 billion enterprise value, a P of 1.5, price to sales 2.5, price to book 0.77. Now, that in my opinion is a good one to buy and hold. Its dividend is a lot lower, it's a 3% dividend, but it has a lot of room to grow it. We go back to another company I spoke about before, Generation Income Properties. I mentioned them before, they had their special dividend, now they're about to have another dividend. 13.18%, it was ex-dividend on December the 14th, and its uh, market cap is half the enterprise value. Price to sales of one, 
price the book at 0.9 the market cap is 13 million versus enterprise value of 26 million now going forward i can see this paying a, a good dividend until people start getting into it and the dividend kind of correlates to to normal stocks but by then we would have covered the cost of the company now we have one where yahoo finance isn't showing the dividend the proper dividend anyway because it's showing it as two percent uh it has doubled its uh dividend of four percent there's a PE ratio of eight the dividend will go x dividend on the 8th of december payable on the 24th of december and it's a 1.38 billion market cap versus enterprise value of 2 billion price to sales of 0.5 price to book 2.27 now bgfe for those of you who've been following me on twitter and my discord you'll know that i got in this before and i banged the drum about it it was heavily shorted one of the most heavily shorted stocks on the market and we rode it all the way up to 42 dollars we also qualified for the dividend but now the next dividend four percent it's on the 30th of november so i picked some up 25.50 a share bring the dividend will bring it down to 24.50 a share which in my opinion is a steal it's a retail stock it's a an outlet store which was named in the top 10 uh, gun sh stores in the us also under armor uh, sends a lot of its products through them and this was why i initially took an interest in them because under Armour had great earnings, so I bought them pre-earnings, knowing they would have great earnings. Now, its market cap is 588 million, enterprise value is 777, sorry, 772 million, uh, PE of five, as I said, price to sales of 0 0.5, price to book of two. And this is the kind of company that will do well if you hold it long term because this, uh, people are jumping into retail so it ticks that box sorry and you have a good dividend granted the 4% isn't as good as the 26% but it's a good stable dividend well covered you have a company which ha hasn't been affected by supply chain it's had blowout earnings and you have a company which has lots of contracts lots of uh, people using it now you can see here that it's bringing in the revenue and you can see here it's increasing its assets without increasing its liabilities which is what you want to see so, uh, one and two thirds of its assets compared to the liabilities now they lay in my opinion would do well of course it's still shorted so you still have the chance of another short squeeze but I wouldn't buy it just for that I'd buy it for all the other metrics anyway I picked up some Halliburton on the duck dip so it gives a small dividend which will be coming in December the PE ratio is quite high 52 yes but as you can see from here last time oil was this price it 
hit $67 a share. Now, Biden has come out with his SPR plan. Personally, I think it won't, won't have an effect. It won't last a month. And I think Halliburton will do well. Even though the PE is 51, his forward PE is 14. Uh, growth stocks, you should be looking for something under 15. This qualifies. It tends to go under the radar. Price to sell is 1.43. Price to book 3.62. It has a market cap of 20.5 billion versus enterprise value 28 billion. Um, this is one I like and something different. Just to let you know, Shamath, who's sold a load of his other stocks, has suddenly picked up a load of stock in Clover, which is an all time low. Is that good news? I think so. Uh, also, I was surprised to see the price of Lottery.com. Now, it's a stock that was near $20 not long ago. It's halved its price for no reason. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. You may have noticed the difference in quality with the lights. Uh, the lighting, that's thanks to the people who have donated to the show via Cash App and Buy Me A Coffee. Links in the description down below. I appreciate every one of you. I'll see you in the next video. If you found any of my videos helpful and you want to help me make more, you can support me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below.